Okay, some breaking news here on First Take this morning. The new look Nets continue to build their coaching staff and our Adrian Wojnarowski reporting this morning that former Rockets head coach Mike D'Antoni, along with former Spurs assistant coach Ime Udoka, are finalizing deals to become assistant coaches under Steve Nash with the Brooklyn Nets. Now, Steve, Dan I mean, uh, Mike D'Antoni and Steve Nash, they are no strangers to each other as D'Antoni, um, Steve Nash played under D'Antoni as the coach of the Phoenix Suns in the mid-2000s. So, Stephen A., what is your reaction to D'Antoni heading to the Nets? Well, first of all, I'd like to say this to uh, Ime Udoka. Uh, congratulations to him. Uh, another, uh, another assistant coaching job. I think that he's moving along the lines because he wants to be a head coach someday. He deserves an opportunity to become a head coach someday, and I'm definitely rooting for him other than that. I want to say hello to Neil Long, you know, who knows him very, very well, and the Sinai Lathans of the world, and the Kerry Washingtons of the world, and the Regina Halls and Regina Kicks, all of these fabulous black actresses that don't get enough love. Well, you're going to get it from me. Okay, now, having said all of that, let's get to Mike D'Antoni. <sighs> I don't care. I mean, he's right where he belongs. He's an assistant coach, particularly for Steve Nash. Now, if anybody should hire him as a coach, it should, as an assistant, it should be Steve Nash. They had great success together in Phoenix. They won 65% of their games. They went to a couple of conference championships, even though they never made it to the finals. And clearly, that was when Mike D'Antoni really made a name for himself, revolutionizing the game of basketball, Max, on the offensive side of the ball because of what he was able to do with their offense. But I will tell you this. Mike D'Antoni, lucky to get that job. Because here's the reality of the situation. You've been a head coach. Phoenix, New York, L.A., Houston, never got to an NBA Finals. Obviously, injuries and bad circumstances had a lot to got do with it. Got close a bunch of times, though. He got though. close. Yeah. He got close, but never got there, right? And this man is a master at departing from jobs right when he knows he's going to get fired. Now, if you listen to Tillman Fertitta, you listen to Tillman Fertitta and people that know him, they'll tell you that – he might have wanted D'Antoni gone, but if basketball operations had pushed for him to stay, he would have listed, et cetera, et cetera. But the bottom line, it was time for a new coach in Houston. Mike D'Antoni thought was led to believe by somebody. I don't know whether it was Agent Warren Legary or somebody, but he was led to believe there was a line of opportunities out there for him. The reality is there are people that are more deserving of these opportunities if indeed you want to win a championship. Mike D'Antoni, to me, has proven that he can innovate, he can be innovative offensively. His, st his style of play can be very, very entertaining. There's no question about that. And if that's what matters to you, if that is a priority, Mike D'Antoni is your guy, whether it's an assistant or is that a head coach. If you're trying to win, meaning win the chip, no, he ain't the answer. Now, this is Steve Nash teams now. He's the head coach. And we understand that. And having KD and Kyrie with Mike D'Antoni's mind on the offensive side of the ball, I think it's going to help them immensely on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, they got to get somebody else in there. Bring Elson Turner there, too. He did a great job in Houston last year. Bring somebody else in there to a coach. A coordinator. Yeah, yeah. Because there ain't no way in hell Mike D'Antoni. Listen, take the Jamie Foxx teasing me about this all the time. Take the D out of D'Antoni. It's still hell out of all these years. He hasn't figured out that you have to play defense at some time. That's what he went on Instagram and imitated me I saying. I was using that yeah, 10 that's years ago. <laughs> I'm just telling you what Jamie Foxx said. So, I mean. That's all I'm trying to say. Mike D'Antoni, an assistant in Brooklyn, it's cool as long as he's not passing over other dudes that have been starving for look, a opportunity look, I, to get the latest one. I'm good. I've been calling him Antoni for years. No D, right? But right. you're being unfair to D'Antoni. I don't here, think here, so. Here, here's the reality. Mike D'Antoni has never had a team where you look at the roster and you go, that's the best team in basketball. And, yet, and so he's never won a championship. And yet he's gotten closer than he ought to have gotten, given the fact that there were better rosters out there. For example. Give me some, because I don't know. Golden State with KD? Who was going to beat Golden State with KD? You Lebr picked him. Right. LeBron, largely because of Maury and D'Antoni. LeBron had Kyrie and Kevin Love. And as you said, looked at, at Golden State and was like, we got no shot. Like, and I don't even hold it against them. I do. KD joined a 73-win team and steamrolled the league, except they had to play a game seven on the road against Houston, against a far inferior team. But that far inferior team should have beaten them. They got ice cold. One of the coldest shooting performances in the history of basketball. And still, Golden State only beat them by single digits in game seven. D'Antoni has gotten more out of teams 
than most coaches. Now, do I think he's the best coach in the world? No, I don't. The reason I think there are better coaches than D'Antoni is because he needs his star player to buy in, and when his star player doesn't buy in, instead of figuring out a way to, to get him to buy in, sometimes D'Antoni's just like, oh, well. Will his star so, players buy in well, then? Here's the whole, I'm sorry, here's the I whole thought team. that was a part of coaching. Yeah, Far it, be it for me. I'm pointing out why I like some coaches better than him. However, when his star player does buy in, doesn't even have to be a great player. Like, Jeremy Lin won a great player. He's a good player. He's a good player, but he bought into Dan and he ran had down a to, good mom. And ran to Dan Tony. He had a the, good mom. They almost never Jeremy lost. Lin. Excuse me. Jeremy Lin. I get he had to a my good point. Back. <laughs> well, I mean, you the one brought up Jeremy Lin. That's right. That's right. Not a good mom. That's my point. <laughs> With, oh with Carmelo Anthony, who didn't buy in, with Kobe Bryant, who didn't buy in, they weren't the right players for the right coach, right? He couldn't do much. But even a talent like Jeremy Lee Lin, who's not an elite talent, could, he could make a winning team. With a talent like Steve Nash or James Harden, he gives you a championship contender. So who is he for? As a head coach, I agree. If I were the Nets, I wouldn't take D'Antoni as a head coach. But I'll bet you there were opportunities for him to be a head coach. Because if I owned or I was the GM of a small market team who's been irrelevant, I know mm. I hire D'Antoni and give him the right kind of point guard, suddenly we're relevant. No, no. Suddenly we're making the playoffs. No, no, no. Let me, so, let me interject with the news. Remember, I told you the job in Philly was his. Yep. But Balmer fired Doc Rivers. Got let, let go of Fox. They can talk about part ways. Sure. They want to. Balmer made the decision to go in a different direction. Philadelphia got wind of that news when Woj reported it, and I went on the six o'clock sports center. Doc Rivers available, and that changed everything. Dan yeah. Tony was going to be the coach of the 76ers the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doc Rivers has a chip, and Dan Tony doesn't. But I, I understand that decision. My point is, that's not a small market team. Philadelphia is, what, the fourth largest market? Yes. In the country? Fifth fourth. largest market fourth. in the country? Fourth and fifth. For the Philly or Houston? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.